service called, thank you. He's working at a service called Maundy Thursday. Do I have that right? I see yes. your head's shaking. Um, we're going to ask you folks to raise your hands in order to speak. And Don, if you could monitor that, because I'm going to try to speak into the camera and uh, and I'll, I'll miss things. Okay. I would like to give out the public safety non-emergency number. Don, could you stick this in the chat as I describe it? Sure. 248-691-7447. That's really an, an, a good number to have at hand, the public safety non-emergency number, 248-691-7447. We were to meet in person and have a hybrid meeting, but we were unable to identify someone who would control the Zoom aspect of things within the live meeting. We have conquered that as Dawn has stepped up and said she will do so. So we hope to meet in person next month well, at be. the Ferndale Upper Elementary School with a Zoom component. And our guest will be the Oakland County Commissioner, Yolanda Smith-Charles or Charles Smith? Smith-Charles. Smith-Charles, thank you. We're hoping to do a picnic again. And we would like to propose the date of July 22nd at Best Park. How does that work for y'all? I agree. Good. Yeah, I'm alive. Any strong objections? All right, we're going to go forward with, with July 22nd, and we'll see what happens. Now, the next question, and the more pertinent one, who's willing to work on it? Right. <laughs> Why don't you write uh, write your names in the chat? And your phone number, and your email address, and we'll put you to work. <laughs> Any other thoughts about the picnic? Or maybe that's enough for the moment. We'll discuss that in greater detail as we go forward. Is it like the other one, 11 to four, bring a dish to pass? We'll decide as we go along. Okay. Anything on people's minds they wanna discuss before we give the floor over to Lori? Okay then. Lori Stasiak, our recreation director, the floor is yours. Uh -huh. Well, thank you and good evening. And thank you so much for inviting me tonight. I'm so glad to be here with you and appreciate all of you taking your time to be here as well. As you know, tonight I'm here to share with you some information on our parks and recreation plan that we just completed. This plan was developed over the course of the last year. I'll do my best to answer any questions you may have this evening, and I might not be able to answer all your questions, but know that the city is working on an implementation plan, so you will hear more in the near future. I do have a few slides to show you that I hope will illuminate the concept of the Parks and Recreation Master Plan. This plan was approved by our city council in December of last year, and I just wanted to touch on a few slides that I hope will shed some light on how we moved forward to this point. I won't go over every slide, but just give you a brief overview of the plan. Is it okay if I share my screen? Yes, I just made you host. You just have to remember to make me host back. Okay, I might have to ask you at the end to- Okay. Because uh, it's been a while since I've been on a Zoom like this. So uh, <laughs> my skills aren't that sharp. So I'll ask you then. Okay. Thank you, Don. You're welcome. It's the, oh, let's see. <clears throat> All right, where'd they go? Hmm. Should it be at the bottom of the share screen? I'm sorry? Are you looking for share screen? 
Actually, I'm looking for my file oh. um, that I had queued up. Let's see. Uh -huh. I lost the meeting. No, she, she's she's got the screen for her, her presentation, so don't don't panic. Yeah, don't panic just yet. <laughs> well, there it is. Okay, hold on just a minute. Like I said, um, I practiced, so I'm not exactly sure where it went. I remember. Do you see it yet? We no. had it there for a minute and then it came back into the meeting. So something you did earlier brought your screen up, but it didn't go further than that. Hmm. I wonder where it went. <laughs> what do you think about working off the top of your head? Uh, sure. I, I it's just so more impactful when you see it. Um you know, see the um, slides. That's that was the only thing. Um, yeah. Let me try this. You almost had it. You yeah. are you are on, but you just need to tap into the tab for the. Lori Stasiak Outlook. Is it in your Outlook? Uh, it is it is on my uh, right up here, but for some odd reason, I can't get to it. Oh, the very last one, it says city, oh no, it says city council. Board presentations, is it under there? Um, hmm. Oh, I apologize. I had everything going too. Is it in Microsoft 365? Um, no. Okay. It's uh hmm. Oh, I can't believe you can send it to um Dawn and and she'll get it out to everybody. Okay. Pictures. Okay. Um, sure, I'll do that. Um, you can hold the paper up. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. Boy. Well. Sam, is there anything else we can talk about? Well, I have prepared a whole slew of questions for Lori, uh, but I think they were best uh, asked after she had done whatever presentation she was going to do. Yeah. All right. Oh, so, um, but there's no. Oh, I thought I had everything planned too. But my I question, will. Sam, is there anything else we can talk about while she's looking? You want um I no, those were the things that I covered all that. Prior. All right, so here's a suggestion. Is there anybody that um knows Zoom, um how to get how to get uh uh so you're, I have you're, my files up and ready. I just um I'm not able to get them for some odd reason. I don't understand it. Computers. You know where where you put it is it. In an email, is it in a separate presentation on your computer? Is it? 
do you know what program you used? Um, you you did have an email that said presentation tonight from Courtney Flynn, I think. And right. it had attachment. Can yeah. you just click on that attachment? Um let me see. Um, oh, I doesn't want to open anything she doesn't want to open. <laughs> uh, let, me, let, me try yeah, let me try something different. Um, again, I apologize. I practiced this and everything was good. Th th those are from 2022. Um, are you seeing anything now? Yeah. Yes. December 19th, 2022. Okay. City of Oakland. Very good. Then I was able to get it in a different way. And again, I apologize. I practiced this. <laughs> so um, this is the Parks and Recreation Plan uh, that was developed. Back in 2021, after a lengthy process, a request for proposals, the city hired our consultants on this project called the Smith Group. They are the ones that developed this document with input from city council, city administration, stakeholders, and you, the residents. So after several meetings with them, we came up with our goals, the priority parks that we identified to take a deeper dive into and the plan of action that would be taken over the course of the year. So to start this process, the Smith Group wanted to meet um, regarding the input on parks, facilities, and amenities in the city. We offered seven community engagement meetings, all focusing on the neighborhood parks, and then one focusing on the city complex and Shepherd Park. During this time, they held visioning meetings with Parks and Recreation Commission, the three school districts, Berkeley, Ferndale, and Oak Park, stakeholders and residents. And once they received feedback, they put together some plans of what these groups wanted to see in the parks and facilities. After the site plans were developed, they came back to these groups for additional input. And then back in November, they came back with their final plan and it was available for public view for 30 days before council approved it in December. I'm just going to skip across here a few slides. In this plan, they did an analysis of our recreation programs and services. Some of their findings were, the, were that none of our parks are meeting the level of service for the neighborhoods they serve. With the input they received, they developed concept, concept plans for each of the priority parks. And I'm gonna highlight Best Park and Shepherd Park. So with Best Park, uh, they, uh, the input that they received was to create a play area to include opportunities for both younger children as well as the older children in the north end of the park. Uh, that's up this way. Um, placing a uh, social space adjacent to the parking lot and play area. Creating a loop path that connects the neighborhood to the east and the south and to the school. So as you can see, you've got um, parks and then there's your connectivity to the neighborhoods up here. Mm -hmm. And creating a two level path one on the ground and one elevated as a boardwalk. And the elevated boardwalk could include a larger deck space and play features such as so slides and zip lines. <laughs> They're also um, looking to develop, you know, areas for uh, in the area of the, um, the community social space, uh, bathroom facilities, shade structures, picnic tables and benches. And then this is Shepherd Park. So the input they received on Shepherd Park and Shepherd Park and the entire community complex or the city complex 
is creating a new indoor community or recreation center with uh, basketball courts, indoor pool facilities, social spaces, a walking track, fitness and exercise rooms. Um, the possibility of removing one of the ball fields and adding new court areas, which would include basketball, pickleball, and tennis and other court uses. In conjunction with the recreation center, adding a new outdoor uh, splash pad play area that would also include a winter ice rink. And that's in this area right here. I know this is small, but at least it gives you a concept. Increasing the amount of available parking, which may include uh, a farmer's market space. And in collaboration with Oakland County Parks and Recreation, create an indoor outdoor nature center or nature area. Um, upgrading existing picnic shelters and bathrooms and play areas and the entire path system in Shepherd Park. Uh, removing the existing community center and ice arena and replacing that with senior housing facilities. And creating a new community plaza, which would include outdoor performance facilities, the farmer's market area, and act as a community gathering place. And again, adding new picnic pavilions on the north end of the park up in this area. These are some of the ideas and the pictures that Smith Group came up with. You can see some court uh, sports, you can see a splash pad, community gathering places, uh, outdoor ice rink, um, amphitheater, indoors for a possible recreation center. You'll see um, areas to, for the community to gather, uh, senior activities, uh, a cooking space for um, nutrition education. Mm. And then indoors, you'll see exercise and fitness and wellness facilities, an indoor pool area, uh, court space for basketball courts and pickleball, and then a walking track. Those were some of the ideas that they had um, going into this. Yeah. I'm going to get out of this one and try to get into another one. So this will be tricky. Mm Okay, can everybody see a new screen? Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks, Don. Okay, this is um, our community and event hub drawing. Um, so this is the area in between the library over here on your left, and then City Hall would be to your right. So this is that open space in between the two. So what we're looking at here is an amphitheater uh, for our outdoor concerts. We are looking at uh, an event hub down here at C. The event hub would be um, an indoor-outdoor farmer's market area. It would be um, year-round, but during the summer months or the warmer months, it would have uh, the concept of garage door uh, windows that could, um, you know, increase the level of uses, uh, bring out to the fresh air um, atmosphere, open patio area uh, for a spillover as far as the, at least the farmer's market. Um, and then we would also have uh, letter B is an open area gathering spot. And then D is uh, a, more, a memorial garden that's proposed. Uh, the event hub would have a commercial kitchen. Uh, that commercial kitchen, actually, we've already received a $250,000 grant from Oakland County uh, towards that commercial kitchen. And we would have nutrition classes, the possibility of partnering with someone 
uh, for uh, senior meals and uh, just a, a nice area for nutrition and cooking demonstrations and education, uh, as well as the community would have a big space um, that they could have um, various events in. Those are some of the things that we're proposing uh, in that area. Then also, I just wanted to highlight our uh, partnership with Oakland County Parks. Oakland County Parks, uh, as part of their uh, Healthy Communities Park and Outdoor Recreation Investment Plan, um, they had um, funds given to them uh, through ARPA, and um, they decided to um, invest in part of Shepherd Park. And they're looking at putting uh, in Shepherd Park about two million, two and a half million dollars in Shepherd Park for improvements uh, that will include new bathrooms, updated pavilions, new play equipment, uh, nature themed universal accessible playgrounds, um, natural resources. Uh, so they're willing to invest in Shepherd Park. Um, so some of the ideas they had for pavilions, um, just some ideas, not necessarily that it's uh, going to be exactly like this, but um, new pavilions, new bathrooms, all three sheds, and new bathrooms um, to on the west side as well as the east side, what we call shelter one and then by shelter two, shelter three. Um, we would increase the bathrooms and have new bathrooms. So um, those are some of the highlights that I just wanted to share with you uh, from the Parks and Recreation Master Plan. Thank you, Lori. That sounds fabulous. Kind of brilliant. Yeah. Looks when, like West Bloomfield. <laughs> <laughs> um, before I jump in with my questions, is there anyone uh, who would like to raise a question? Because I've prepared quite a few, but I, I think I could easily monopolize the conversation. Dawn? Yes, with the outline that you presented of Best Park, I noticed that the walkway, the loop you were talking about is close to the school. How will that balance because of strangers on the school side of the park? Like the walking paths look like it went right by the school? Well, uh, it is on our property. Oh. So, I mean, before we put a shovel in the ground, uh, we would definitely um, have another uh, few, probably, um, uh, you know, focus group meetings, uh, not only with the, the residents, but also with the school. Mm hmm. But um, prior to this, when we were um, when we were going through the plans and the concepts, they were invited to comment on those also. Okay. And then my only other suggestion for maybe Shepherd Park or some park that it's uh, viable would be community garden. And if you're going to have nutrition classes, the gardening could really go hand in hand with that. Grow yep. food to and cook. we have that actually that's in our capital improvement uh okay. list for in the future mm -hmm. we just don't know where yet but that yeah. is is part of the plan oh cool thanks that was those were my questions thank you don anybody else cheryl thanks um i have three questions actually first do you have the timeline as far as when things will start happening with best park and shepherd park not yet. Uh, we're still in the implementation plan, so um, we haven't developed exactly which park is going to uh, happen at what time and which of the priorities. But um, we think that uh, it's going to kind of pepper out so that each of the parks will receive some improvements as we go along. Keep in mind, this is a 10 year Parks and Recreation mm -hmm. Master Plan. Um, so things are going to happen within the next 10 years, 
true, some parks will start sooner than others, but we are going to try and pepper it so that you'll see some improvements in your neighborhood park um, mm -hmm. throughout the, the course of the 10 years. Okay. Um, secondly, I heard that there was some talk of moving the hill. Is that true? Moving the hill at Shepherd Park? Mm -hmm. No, that is not okay, true. Okay, good. Good. Actually, um, the, but Cheryl, yeah, we are going to expand on it. So oh. the hill is going to stay where it's at. We're just going to expand on it. Okay. Um, the other thing was actually not my question, but from a friend of mine. There's a lot of people that grew up um, using the ice arena. Is there any possibility for people that used to play there all the time to go in there like one time before it's demolished? and or to get maybe a brick or some kind of souvenir that they could save, anything oh, like that? Sure. Uh, that's a great idea. Um, both of those are great ideas. And when it becomes uh, a reality that the ice arena is coming down, I will definitely make that recommendation for both of those. Awesome, thank you. I know though, the one that asked me actually is the one that I bought the house from. And so he was, he's been asking me if I know anything. I said, I will find out. So thanks, oh, Lori. That's been, both of those are fantastic ideas. Thank thanks. you. Other questions? Crystal Bailey has a question. Crystal? Yes, thank you, I'm here. I have a question. Will the, will the site plan raise taxes? Well, the site plan, well, this, the, the total package for this parks and recreation plan comes to about 80 million if you were to do everything uh, in the next 10 years. So we are developing a plan to come out to the residents as far as asking them for, um, you know, uh, some way to fund this. But in the meantime, we are, um, we are, aggressively looking at grants. Uh, we've already received one uh, grant from the county. Uh, the Oakland County um, ARPA funds will help uh, fund the improvements to Shepherd Park. Nice. Uh, we're also looking at DNR grants. Uh, mm -hmm. We're looking at another trails grant through Oakland County. And we're looking at a SPARC grant through the DNR that would uh, possibly supply $1 million towards uh, parks and recreation facilities. Uh, we're also looking at, uh, we've um, uh, state and federal dollars. Uh, we've sent a proposal to Haley Stevens, to um, a couple other um, uh, senators and, and uh, representatives um to try and get some state and federal dollars uh we're doing some sponsorships too so we're doing everything possible to um, look at different uh revenue streams um to fund some of these projects awesome thank you anybody else then, then i'll jump in i $80 million is a lot of money. Uh, yeah. How do, and Crystal's question is really on point, but how do you, how do you prioritize what you plan to implement and who prioritizes? Well, right now um, we're in the process of um, various meetings um with uh, administration with city council um to prioritize what the needs are um how we're going to fund this um we have to take it out to the people for um you know their input and we have to we have to come up with some concept plans too um that will work so we might find out that not everything on this Parks and Recreation Master Plan will work, will get funded. So it, it's, it's a process. So you'll hear more in the next few months. Is implementation based on external funding? That is, once you find funding for a particular project, then you can go as opposed to 
trying to fund the entire ball of wax at once and then proceeding? Well, that's one way to look at it. Or uh, if we can go out to the, um, the residents and if they agree um, to fund ahead of time, then it will be tax dollars that help to offset the cost for these. And do you have a feel as to ratio between tax dollars and uh, earned revenue and donated dollars? Uh, I do know that currently we have about 1.9 million um, that we have set aside uh, for prior capital improvement projects, um, grants that we've received over the years. Um, so it's a good start, but um, we've got a long way to go. So we're just now trying to formalize what exactly we'll need and um, just which way we're gonna go. And I'm asking this question again, because I don't think I understood the answer. How, how do you, uh, what is the process? Is it your making recommendations to administration? Is it the Parks Commission making? Is it, uh, how does the recommendations work? What we're doing right now is administration is um, uh, dedicating some time and we're trying to figure uh, what we need, what our needs are, what the uh, priority parks are, uh, what the language might be for a uh, parks and recreation bond uh, or millage, uh, and then uh, to move forward with a possible campaign and um, you know a possible vote in November. That's quick. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's very aggressive. So you're you're looking at seeing how much you can raise in one swell foot to go whole hog, it seems. Well, it'll fund the projects over the course of the years. Um, you know, if let's just say whatever is decided by city council to move ahead uh, uh, to ask the voters and if the voters approve, uh, it would start the process um, you know, early next year. It wouldn't fund the project uh, in whole, but it would start the process in phases over the course of 10 years. I saw the master plan as being written for five years. Did I misread it? It is No, it's a five-year master plan with the idea that um, Smith Group came in and did an asset management survey for us. And it was a plan for the course of 10 years. The actual plan that goes to the DNR is a five-year master plan, though. What's the time frame for taking down Jackson and the Casa School? What will go on the empty land? And under her whose purview? will it be? Ferndale Schools, Ferndale's Parks and Rec, yourself, a combination? Um, Jackson was sold to the Ferndale School District. So uh, right now, uh, there is a state of the art preschool being developed there. And as far as CASA goes, um, it was my understanding that they were going to tear CASA down and mm -hmm. build a community park. Oh, really? That was my understanding. But we don't have any input into that. City of Oak Park doesn't. That's strictly City of Ferndale. Uh, that is strictly Ferndale School District. When are they supposed to tear it down? I don't know. Uh, Mayor, do you know? I'm not sure. Probably this summer. Well, I do know I heard that... Uh, the students at CASA uh, will be um, going to a new building, um, new old building, but they will be going to the Oak Park School District in, um, in the building currently being um, occupied by, um, Nova. Uh, I believe it's uh, Nova students. Yes. In the master plan, I saw, uh, I saw, a uh, reference to private partnerships. 
I was wondering what sort of private partnerships are in consideration, if any. Um, currently, uh, some stakeholders here in the city of Oak Park um, can't really mention the names yet because um, uh, city manager is still working with them. Uh -huh. But uh, private partners, private businesses. Can you speak to the type of the type of uh, relationships we're talking about? The type of uh, uh, we're talking about something that's uh, revenue creating, that's shared between the the uh, entrepreneur and the city. Can you talk about what sort of uh, businesses we're talking about? What sort of a, a, a if I'm making sense? Yeah, no, you are. You are. Um, it's still in the very um, beginning stages. So I don't, right now, I don't feel comfortable talking about that. Okay. Um, as there is such a, a need for revenue and, and, un, and don't, donated revenue, is there a development person on staff? And if not, is there funding to hire a freelance development person to help you in raising funds or does it all fall on your shoulders? Oh, no, it doesn't all fall on mine. Uh, there are several department directors that are involved in this also. Uh, we have Dave DeCoster, who is the director of DPW. We have Kim Maroney, who is in charge of economic development and planning. Um, she's very uh, involved in this also. I saw that in the surveys that were taken, the numbers were 357 surveys were used to come to conclusions as to public input. How do we fall so short? I mean, 357 surveys out of 12,000 households strikes me as not being much of a sampling. Well, uh, you know, Smith Group went out um, with direct mailing um, to um, gather uh, the input. And um, actually they felt that three, the 357 was a good sampling. Okay. I noticed on your org chart that there's a deputy city manager. Is there one? Yes, that's Crystal Van Fleck. Ah, so this is a new hire or someone has come up through the ranks? Uh, Crystal has been here for quite some time. She came up through the ranks. Because didn't that job used to be Kevin Yee? Um, Kevin Yee was assistant city manager uh, as well. He wore many hats, assistant city manager, um, city engineer, uh, director of DPW. Oh, so deputy is a different title. Correct. When the master plan refers to connector parks, what does that mean? I'm sorry? When the master plan refers to connector parks, what does that mean? Uh, I believe it referred to the one connector park. Um, it is the connector park on a nine mile. Uh, where our linear park is. Uh, it's in a vacant lot in between two homes, uh, close to Scotia. And we are making that into what we call a connector park. It will be renamed at a later date, but it connects Tyler and that neighborhood to the linear park, which is why we kind of coined it connector park. Now I know what you're talking about. Now I understand. The last five-year plan covered 2017 to 2022. How much of that plan was implemented? Um, I would say, uh, I would say we, we, <laughs> We worked on a lot of those goals and objectives in the last five years. I couldn't tell you exactly what the percentage was that was completed.
there seems to be a great need for activities for teens, particularly after school. And what we found is that the solution we've taken is we've closed our library off uh, from them. Uh, has the recreation department had any plans to try to alleviate that situation? It just seems a harsh uh, tactic to take. Yeah, it's very unfortunate. Um, we even had uh, City Hall open to teens, um, you know, in the course of the last couple months. Uh, but what the Recreation Department is doing is um, we just have a new hire. His name is Kevin George. And he is our youth and adult uh, sports uh, mm -hmm. recreation coordinator. And he will be implementing a couple of outdoor activities in uh, May and early June for the course of four weeks each. So uh, it's a free activity. We just ask the teens to sign up, but it will be youth flag football, co-ed, and uh, three on three basketball at the basketball courts that are outside at Shepherd Park. And we're hoping that through this activity that the teens will wanna join in and uh, have some, some, some time that they will just uh, be able to um, come over uh, because it's, it's right by the community center, it's outside, fresh air, some activity, um, run some steam off. So those are the two activities that we're um, implementing for this spring. And if they're successful, we'll keep going uh, next fall. Any thought to providing activity for want of a better word for the commuter kids, the ones who are waiting to be picked up? Um, is there anybody here from Youth Assistance? Because I heard they were going to implement a teen center. Ah, oh, Cheryl, yes. Do you want to speak yeah. to that? Sure, I can speak to that. Um, we are going to be opening a teen center at Oak Park High School. It will be tentatively twice a week to begin starting in the fall. We have an active committee who have been working on this and working with our superintendent, Angel Abdullahad, working with the principal of the high school. We had some of our, um, our chair people of the committee meet with teens on three different occasions to get their input what they want. We're gonna have paid staff as well as our board members will take turns being present. So yeah, we're excited about it. We're gonna have financial education. We're gonna have snacks. We're gonna have arts activities. We're gonna have technology. We're gonna have whatever we can do that the kids want. Um, it's gonna be amazing. We haven't decided on a room yet. We were offered our choice of three. And I think the committee chairs are pretty close to deciding on one, which is in the main hallway by um, the vice principal's office, I believe. But yeah, it's, it's exciting. Um, and just as a real quick background, when we had our first meeting with the Youth Assistance Board in September and Angel was there, I put him on the spot and said, um, what is your wish? What would you like to have? What could we do to support you? He said, a teen center. I said, okay. And we at the Board of Youth Assistance took that on this year as our big project. So we want to make sure to do it right. We're going slower than we originally planned. We had hoped to have it open like right now, but we want to go slow and take our time and do it right. Make sure we've thought through everything, we've prepared for everything. So it's going to open in the fall. Well, I'd like to say that's brilliant. That Thank just you. sounds brilliant. Thanks so much. I see that there is a capital improvement plan that's in place, that's been in place, that I, I understand is a revolving six-year plan um, that already exists. Correct. What have you got rolling there? Well, um, every year it gets um, revised somewhat depending on what the priorities are, depending on, um, uh, you know, um, what the plan uh, of action is. 
uh, and each year it's um, approved by city council to move forward. So uh, because of this um, uh, recreation asset survey, some things have been moved uh, back um, in the plan. Uh, some things are going to be um, absorbed through um, what we're going to do in the future with some of the um, uh, you know, parks uh, through their, um, through their um, concept plans. So um, we're just, as things develop, things might change a little bit. So uh, because of that, um, our six-year plan did change because of the, um, the, the new Parks and Recreation Assets Survey that came out. So we re revised our um, capital improvement projects going forward. I noticed in the uh, the budgetary segment of the plan, I think I saw three years worth of budget of the recreation department, and it looked pretty flat to me. Uh, and I didn't see any capital improvements allocated in there. And revenues and expenses weren't balanced, so I was a little confused. Um, what do you mean by flat? Not much increase. Not much increase as far as what we were doing? No year-over-year -year budgetary allotments. The only, the only budgetary allotments that grew significantly were uh, salaries, which one would expect. But in terms of program allocation, it was pretty flat. Well, we do have to balance every year. Okay, well, I, I think it was, you know, page 30, didn't look balanced to me. Okay, um, I don't have a copy of it in front of me, I'm sorry. I will say that the, for everyone attending, the, uh, the plan is dense. It's about 142 pages long. There is a good deal of consultant speak in there, but uh, it's still very interesting and very worthwhile to take a look at. Sam, are you, are you referring to the Parks and Recreation Master Plan or our budget? I saw a recreation budget within the master plan. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. It, it wasn't going to uh, balance because we don't have the revenue end of it yet. Okay. Yeah. Those are just concepts too, Sam. Uh, just keep in mind, um, you know, things may change. We might not be able to afford everything in that plan. Well, that's all I've got. Any other questions, folks? Did I spark any thoughts? Did we spark any thoughts? It sounds amazing. It's going to be an amazing step forward for the city of Oak Park. Um, it will, somebody said earlier, hey, that looks like West Bloomfield. Well, it's about time Oak Park started looking good and having what other cities have uh, for our kids and our seniors and our families. So it is, um, it's going to make huge positive change in the city of Oak Park. And um, it will be up to the voters whether um, they want to vote for it or not. And so uh, we'll be putting out information to help you make a decision. I do have one last question for Lori. Uh, when you think in terms of, of these plans, do you think in terms of servicing the people that reside here presently, or do you think in terms of servicing people you would like to attract? Well, you have to look at it both ways, but um, you know, we definitely need to service the people that currently live here. 
but our goal is to also try to attract new families, uh, people to move into Oak Park, uh, to make it um, attractive to want to live here. Uh, this is a family city. It's a, it's a bedroom facility or a bedroom city. So uh, you want to attract, um, you know, families and, and folks that want to want to live here and take advantage of our parks and facilities but we do have to service the community that's here already. Well, on behalf of everybody, I wanna thank you, Lori, for taking your time and joining us. Sure. Um, I would like Stand to say one more, one more thing. Um, when I went to an exercise class in the community center today, I met a new resident. She had lived in Royal Oak for 10 years and moved to Oak Park and was thrilled. She said, you really care about your residents here. You provide so many activities and so many things for us to do. So I just thought that would give you a little comparison um, that makes us look really good. We're on a shoestring budget right now and we're still doing a remarkable, amazing job. Thanks to Lori and her team. Thank Bravo, you. by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? Uh, Lori, make sure you give me the hosting back. Oh, so sorry. I... Oh, good. It's okay. I sent you a private message just now, so I don't know if you got it, but. No, how do you, how do you give it back? <laughs> <laughs> Try the little icon in the screen where my face is or your face is i think the top right corners have little dots that give you options yeah and if the members of the steering committee could stay on when Let's we conclude. See, do you have a suggestion for lori um do you see the little dots up on the yeah uh-huh and it doesn't that doesn't say anything about. Uh, what if you go down the bottom and you say share screen again? Okay. Direct it to Dawn. Maybe. No. That didn't work. Um, I did hit stop share. Did that? Did it go back to you? I don't know. I I can't tell. I don't know what would show up. No, I think sharing screen is separate from sharing hosting duties. Okay. Oh. Thank you, Cindy. Okay. Um, hmm. I don't know anything about hosting, though. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, those three little dots do not say anything about hosting. Okay. How did you start sharing? What did you do to, or I mean, how did you, what did you do to give her the hosting duties? Let's it look backwards. Screen. I went up to my three dots in my screen ah. and then I be, was able to share it there, but it doesn't give me that option now. So that's why I think she still has right. it. I would think it would be her option to do exactly what you did. Okay. Mm. Yeah, Lori, go to where you're listed under participant and click on the three dots right next to where it says you're the host. Mm. Okay, I don't see anything that says I'm the host though. Oh, go, the participants is one of the choices on the bottom. Oh. Mute, stop video and participants. When you hit that on the right hand side, you'll see a list and I see Emma McClellan and Lori Stasiak host. Okay, so when I do not... that, it says pin spotlight for everyone need rename. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to tell anyone. I'm sorry. I just you know, just for future reference, Dawn, because I I use Zoom a lot for meetings too. You don't have to make her the host. You can just give her sharing permission. I don't know where that is. 
I don't have it on my screen because I'm not the host, but at the bottom there will be, it'll be next to participants. There's something there and you, and it says something like enable participants to, and one of them is share screen. So next time, if you just click that participants can share their screen, you stay the host. All right. I and then after Lori okay. shares or whoever shares, you just take away permission. Yeah, so you'll have to you'll have to show me that, Cheryl. I just took the hosting back. Okay, good. We're set, but I do want to know how to do that. I just I'll check with you later, though, Cheryl. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. And I apologize. I... <laughs> it was wonderful. It We're was wonderful. Yes. Yeah, thank you very thank you much. For thank a you. lovely thank presentation. You. Uh, Thanks, thank you. Lori. Okay. Thank you. It was nice seeing everyone. Thank Bye. you all. Thank so you. The steering committee all folks right. can stay on. And Please. good night to all y'all. All y'all. Yeah. Anybody is welcome to stay, right? <laughs> yeah, I would say that too. I'm not sure what Sam feels though. Well, Carol, uh, you're you're muted. Hi. Hi. Do, is it? Do, did you introduce yourself, or do people know you? Uh, no, they don't. I'm Carol okay. Jackson. I am the new Opart the Opart Resident Service Coordinator. Yeah, we should. Uh, I think invite Carol. Uh, what? How many meetings do we have left? Oh yeah, we have May and June. Um, I, I think we ought to uh, ask Carol to give a, a presentation about what, exactly what she does, because yeah. it's a great uh, title, but I'm not sure all it entails. So, uh, she um, should remember me. I gave her a hard time. What? I would love to do that. Okay. Just let me know uh, which month you would like me to come on in. All right. Maybe we can discuss this now. Yeah. And I think I met some of you because some came. Uh, Mr. Peter, you came into City Hall and I met you. You handed me a check. Do you remember that? I do. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was for our uh, contribution to the youth services. Yeah, so I pretty much just runs the Q&A and I take complaints from the city, but um, from residents in the city. But I am more than glad to come on and, you know, go in depth about it, especially the Q, the Gov QA system. Okay. Mm. Well, we could invite, we have a resident complainer who's not <laughs> tonight. We have more than one. <laughs> well, we can just we'll let him and you. <laughs> and sometimes when people call me, if they have a complaint about something, they call me and I do come out. Okay. I come out, I take pictures and stuff and I make yeah. sure. I make sure that it goes to the proper departments and make sure it gets completed. So oh, good. But I'm, I'm gonna, gonna <laughs> what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my phone, just let me know what month you want me to come on, but I'm gonna put my phone number in the chat. Okay. So you can have it as well. I put off everything, the uh, email, phone number, and my cell phone number. Don, are we done recording? Oh.